Then they should try to respond to me. He said, I respond over time or immediately? What did he, which one did he say? You remember? I respond immediately. Allah didn't say, well, you should respond immediately too to me. He said, no, then they should at least try to respond to me. They should at least want to respond to me. Allah says, I'm not expecting too much from you. At least give me a sincere effort. Don't give me ijaba, give me istijaba. He changed, he switched the verb. See, that's why Arabic is important, guys. If you read the English translation of the ayah, you probably 90% of what I shared with you today is not there. And when you, when you make that intention, I guarantee you Allah will open doors for you you never imagined. I guarantee it. Because Allah guarantees it. So he says, فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُولِ Try to respond to me. وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي And they should believe in me. Allah mentioned believing in him at the end because when people pray to Allah, Ya Allah, get me a raise. Ya Allah, let me marry that girl. Let the family say yes. I know her father hates me, but please, somehow, <laughs> put something in his heart. Put something in his heart. And the girls make a dua, Ya Allah, not that guy. Please, not that guy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, you know? You're making dua, and sometimes you don't see the results of your dua. Sometimes you don't, you don't see the results immediately. And then you start thinking, well, God said He's going to respond immediately. Where's my raise? <laughs> ya Allah, by the time I reach my car today, my 1978 Cutlass Sierra in the parking lot, let it be a BMW M5. <laughs> 2012. <laughs> Navigation, spinner rims will be nice. Amin. <laughs> And you get to the parking lot, you're like, what's up, God? <laughs> it's Ramadan and everything. And then not, nothing working. No, 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 no. Allah says, the prayers are answered not on your schedule. Allah will respond, but He will give you what's best for you. You don't even know what's best for yourself. Allah knows what's better for you. He'll respond though, in His way. In, and His way is way better than your way, trust me. So that requires you to believe Him, that His way is better. His way of responding is better. I'll give you a small example of that. A mother is afraid that her baby is going to die. A mother is afraid. Mother, is, mother of Musa is afraid her baby is going to die. Allah says, breastfeed her. Breastfeed the child. Ayah comes, just feed the child. You might think, my ba soldiers are coming to kill. If they hear a baby make a single noise, they're going to kill a baby. You're telling me to feed the child? No, she trusts Allah and she starts feeding the child. And guess what? When a child is being fed, does the child make noise or no? So they don't hear the child. No, if she tries to hide the child, put a blanket over him, whatever, is he gonna, a little bit of a eh, and it's over. Allah gave her the best thing she could have had at that very moment, feed your child. And if you really get scared, here's what you do, put him in the river. If you're afraid, put him in the river. Now the thing is, putting him in the river was the best thing that mother ever did because she believed in Allah. Because you know why? That river got him to a palace. And when he got to the palace, he was already, Allah had put in the heart of that baby that he will only drink that flavor of milk. So no matter how many wet nurses you bring him, he will not accept. <coughs> how would a baby know the difference between this and milk and that milk? Well, Allah installed that software way back when she was at the house, when she fed him the first time. So he's used to that flavor, that's it. He can't have anything else. So he doesn't have to recognize, he's not even old enough to recognize his mother. But he's old enough, his heart is mature enough to recognize that milk. And that's how she gets the job at that house. And her baby's safe. Her baby's gonna be safe there, safer than anywhere else. Inside the palace. Who's gonna go door to door inside the palace? SubhanAllah. Allah has His way. Allah has His way. You and I have, we think our way. Allah should do it our way. No, no, no. Allah's way is way better. If Allah's way happened and the soldiers didn't catch the baby that day, is it possible to catch him the next day or the day after that or the day after that? It's possible. What Allah set up for her was terrifying in the beginning, but it saved her and her child's grief. Allah had bigger plans. We have to, that takes trust. Well, you, we know, be. 
لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ This is the last part that I'd like to share with you. Allah said, fasting was given so you can get what? Taqwa. Ramadan was given so you can be what? Grateful. Dua is given so you can get straight. You can be heading in the right direction. You can be guided. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ Allah is saying there's a direct connection between talking to Him, asking for things, and being guided. That is why the surah of guidance, the surah of Fatiha, how do we ask for guidance? In a dua, ihdina. We're learning guidance and dua are one and the same. They're fused together, they're inseparable entities. And you and I, if we're not making a lot of dua, then I can guarantee you we do not have a lot of guidance. Allah says, they should believe in me, they should ask me, they should try to respond to me, so that they can be set straight. You don't make dua and you're gonna have problems. You're gonna have problems. And don't, don't be like one of those obnoxious dua people. You know what an obnoxious dua person is? You know, bro, I had, an, I had a midterm, and I, was, I made like so much dua, and I still failed. That's why I don't pray. <laughs> This is, dua is not Amazon.com. I placed the order and I said expedited shipping and it didn't show up. I don't give them orders anymore. You're, you're not Allah's customer. You don't place orders with Allah. You know the people who talk like that were the followers of Musa. Udu'u lana rabbak, yukhrij lana. Call your, make dua to Allah, give us something. Come on, hook us up. The, fo the followers of Fir'aun talk like that. Udu'u lana rabba, call your, call your master, make these, these nine signs stop. Make them stop. You think you're entitled to get Allah to do what you want to do? Then you sound like the misguided followers of Fir'aun, or the misguided, you know, excuse of followers of Musa alayhi salam. That's what you've become. Come on, don't have an attitude when you make dua to Allah. Understand, He's the highest, you are the... Lois, maybe you forgot that. Just because he made himself available, you think you just you lose your place. You start thinking, man, I made dua and nothing happened. Come on. You can't have that attitude. You can't. And a lot of people lose faith because their duas are not answered. So, yeah, I'm, I'll, one minute and I'm done, inshallah. A lot of people lose faith because their duas are not answered. We have to be the people, the more we make dua, the more our iman increases. May Allah Azza wa make the month of Ramadan a month of taqwa for us, a month of gratitude for us, and a month of being set guided for all of us.